Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Uh, this episode, we will be uh, doing quite a few things, actually. Uh, I, I know there's a, there's a few things. Wow, I am really low health. I took a fall a little bit earlier while well, getting ready for the episode, and I didn't realize that I was that low. No big deal. Okay, so uh, I, yeah, I have a few things that I'd like to do this episode. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, not a lot of cuts, but there will be cuts, uh, just just to save some time for you guys, because you've seen me do a lot of it. Uh, but we will go ahead and do this on screen. We're going to harvest our finished wheat so that we can have more. Uh, obviously, it's nice that... Um, we can expand this and we'll have a little bit more food and this will only continue to grow which is nice like uh, the the size of the farm because we have so much extra space see in there we have 12 extra seeds to go ahead and work with um, it doesn't really seem like that much but trust me it, it adds up it adds up really quick uh, okay it does look like it's it's nighttime I know I started this episode at an awkward time, but like I said, I ran into some awkward falls. Oh, you guys see that room? Okay, well, we'll ignore that for now. Let me go ahead and sleep first, and then I'll come down and, and explain everything to you. All right, so as you saw, we obviously have a lot more chests now. Uh, I went ahead and organized everything, so I'll go ahead and show you every one of the chests, some of what they have in them. Stone obviously has anything related to stone. Uh, cobblestone I usually put at the top because you can dump in like cobblestone really quick by shift and left clicking. Uh, the valuables, obviously, there's not much of it, but when there is, uh, it's nice. It's stuff that like, you know, you probably won't fill a chest with unless you have like an iron farm or something like that. Uh, it's tools chest in case we need to find a tool or we have tools that we, we're just not going to use anymore. Here's our foods chest. Obviously, we have a little bit going awesome. We actually have some wheat, but we're going to go over to the cows and feed the cows first. I'll, I'll cut that out for you guys, though, uh, when I do it. Okay, and then this is our naturals chest. Uh, so anything that can be found out in the wild, including drops from... Uh, other mobs besides gunpowder gunpowder is saved in the valuables chest because that is a valuable especially when you're playing on a server or something like that you don't want people to get a hold of gunpowder i promise uh woods i have everything uh, obviously organized you see jungles all in a row stuff like that <clears throat> miscellaneous woods are going to go in the bottom right corner uh sand and glass and then f then flint and gravel now flint and gravel i usually if i'm making a town i will use the gravel for roads so i will usually go ahead and collect as much gravel as possible obviously in this series i don't believe we're making a town so uh we won't have to worry about that i mean we may we may build a kingdom that would be very cool but uh that's that's super super late game stuff and then we have our glasses in case we need to use glass somewhere these are our ites. These are new to 1.8 uh, we got the granite the andesite and the diorite um so we'll just keep all those together for now. I don't know if they'll become cumbersome and need their own chests, but I, I figured we'll put them all together just just for lately. Wool, wool is very important to have its own chest, especially when you start getting dyed wool in different colors. As well as I usually put dyes in the wool chest. I know it's usually supposed to go into the natural chest, but I, I chose I chose the the wool's chest because I'm a lot more comfortable. Um, being able to find it there uh dirt obviously we're gonna run into a lot of dirt so we're just gonna put it all in its own chest and then we have an empty chest just in case we need to obviously uh s save some more things now i'm gonna go i'm gonna feed the cows um yeah and then i'll, I'll talk to you guys when i get back okay so uh, i did I, I i know i said i was gonna be back in the house when i when i cut back but I figured this is a fine time to show you guys this. Uh, if I if I go ahead and, and break the boat with a sword when I get out, I believe it breaks a lot quicker and I should be able to catch it. See? And uh, there we go. I caught it. So that, that's how I'll be doing it from now on. I know I'm going to try to make like an L curve or something uh, around the, uh, like a dock for us. But until... You guys are being very loud. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and turn you down right now because holy crap, they're loud. I'll just turn on the whole thing. Jeez. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and breed them first. Right? So just right-click all the cows. Hi. Yeah, you look lonely, so we're just going to... And then we'll... Because we're going to right-click them all. We want them all to breed as, you know, as soon as possible. Oh, we're getting a lot of experience. Too sweet. Uh, and then we're going to kill some. Uh, just so we have some leather and we have some... No, I need to hit the same one. Uh, and some beef, because beef is nice to have, or, or steak. It's nice to have. And we'll just kill, what, 
that seems like enough because uh, the other ones will grow and it'll be fine uh, we, I, I, I want we're gonna have to start killing them obviously because we don't want too many so they're constantly mooing at us like like they are right now real real funny huh um, okay so now we obviously have five pieces of wheat left but we always save the wheat hold on got it okay so I know it's a little bit spaz spastic but it'll be okay um, we also need to do something about these vines. I don't want to take down those trees, though. I think the trees are really cool. So what we might do is if we just uh, go ahead and get some more dirt and extend this out a little bit more. I, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. If anybody knows any cool tricks for that, let me know. Like, yeah. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and drop off this because we are not gonna, we don't need cookie right now. Let's go ahead and eat. And now the next thing I wanted to do, which is... um. Which is a pretty good idea. Somebody said make a matching one of these pillars on the other side of our staircase. So uh, it would go right here. Now I am going to do that. Um, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I know that's that's very vague. But yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done.
all right and we are back as you can see i added another pillar just like the one on this side um now somebody suggested that we do another lava pillar i decided to go with the water one obviously um there was one more thing that i actually wanted to do with it i believe uh yeah we'll just take a little bit extra of that and we have a bucket on us i believe yes i actually wanted to um make this into an infinite water supply as well so i figured it would just it can kind of dump out here. I probably should have placed the uh, cobble first, but no big deal. Uh, we'll do this one and then these two. Like that. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab a um, bucket of water here. And with that bucket of water, we can uh, hopefully have an infinite supply. If we don't, I'll have to uh, place one more block as well. So I have one here. See, and then you're supposed to be able to grab from that corner. So I'm just going to need to... Um, Grab one more bucket here, but it, you see, I, I also worked on the outside a bit, as you saw. Uh, it's slowly becoming a home, is the idea, and this will turn more into a castle theme, obviously, as as we go on, for sure. There, see, and now that's flat water, it's dumping into there. I think it looks good. See, and then we can just come over here and grab a bucket of water whenever we need one. On our way out or on our way in. Um, yeah. Now, you may have seen me uh, have a little bit of trouble with the chests when I was uh, building. It's because I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to the layout of where we put everything and all that. Um, let's go ahead and collect our crops again. I know uh, it's not the most exciting thing, but it, it's something that we need to do for now. Um, I know I did it at the beginning of the episode as well. But eventually, we'll have a, a large enough farm that we'll only need to do it once. And which I'll probably start doing off screen, obviously. I think I already said that. And, uh, yeah, then we won't have to worry about it anymore. As well as starting uh, an auto animal farm or, or, or some sort of that. Just so we have food coming in. I know you can do an auto chicken farm. I'm not sure how you kill them, but I, I know you can make it so that, like, they, they throw the, it throws the eggs every X amount of time. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and get, get, catch some Zs here. Okay, and then our next thing is that I wanted to um, actually make a bucket. I don't know, have an, grab another bucket. Hopefully I have some more in my tools chest. No, I do not. Okay, we are going to need to make quite a few buckets. But we'll only make two more because I don't want to waste all of our buckets. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and make the, um, the poor man's ender portal. So I'm just going to set out an outline. I know, I trust me, I am aware uh, that this will take a little bit of time. And I also need to decide where I want it. Did I hear a skeleton? Hmm. Like I said, this is this is becoming our home very slowly. Uh, I, we don't, and we don't want the ender portal noises too much. So why don't we go ahead and dig into this. And we'll make a little room out of this for our ender portal. Um... Now, I believe in the 1.8 update, they made it a possibility to create the Ender Portal in a way that uh, it can be like any dimensions. We're going to do the classic Ender Portal, uh, just because that's the one I'm most comfortable with. And I think it looks the best, to be honest. Um, what is it? It's 2 by 3. I think 2 wide by 3 tall. So you need a total of 10 pieces of obsidian. Mat a minimum. Okay, well, this, this kind of caved out a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just clear it out. Uh, one more one more deep. And then I'll cover it up with uh, this diorite that I'm picking up. Uh, so, yeah, let's... Actually, those can stay. Um, pick this up. And eventually, I think we are going to replace all the walls with something. Even if we do it with diorite, I think that'd be cool for, like, the different rooms have different stone in them. So, but for now, we'll just go ahead and use a little bit of cobblestone as well. And we will uh, clean this out here. All right, and then one, two, three, four. And then we'll put our ender portal in here. Uh, it will have a base of two here, I believe, and then we will also need. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it uh, all in progression. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go get three buckets of lava, 
and so that we can work uh, from there. There we go. I hear it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's over here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up as well, you guys, because I know this will take a little while for uh, for me to do. We also need to keep our eye out for skeletons and such. Let's go ahead and see you in a bit. Alright, and here we go. We are on our last bucket of uh, lava here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, this is how I did it. Uh, obviously, I just built a frame uh, of cobblestone. And then I'll just have to dig all this away, and we should be left with an ender portal. Or what will become an ender portal, obviously. Did I say ender portal or nether portal? Hmm. Of course, I mean nether portal. I don't know. But there we go, you see? And we have a, uh, a complete frame there. That's all you really need, I believe. So let's go ahead and, and run up here. We'll drop off a couple buckets in our tools chest. And then we will grab some iron. Oh, wrong chest. Iron. Drop off our ice. Drop off our dirt. Drop off our... Wheat, just make sure, you know, we're all packed up. And let's go ahead and grab flint and steel, or flint, so we can make flint and steel. And now that we have this, uh, actually, we are pretty much ready to go. Let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone, because I don't know if you know this, but in the nether, cobblestone is indestructible by ghast fire. So it's very important to have. We also are going to want a door. We have enough wood to make one. Wow, I, I that's something that is new to this is you get three doors instead of one for the uh, wood, and I always forget that. So now we're gonna have a surplus of doors, I guess. Um, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be uh, traveling to the Nether. I know I'm kind of cutting you off right there, but that's how it needs to be uh, because I, I really wanna I really wanna get to the Nether and have a great time there. And uh, I don't want it to be a rushed experience. So, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, and let me know what else you guys want to see in the series because it's it's as much your series as it is mine. Uh, I'm doing this for you guys. You guys uh, obviously are what or keep the series going. So if you can think of anything that uh, there's like you need you want to learn about or something and you don't quite fully understand, uh, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below as well as leave your favorite color in the comment section down below. Um, because I want to know what you guys like. If I'm gonna put like uh like pieces of clay with color or, or banners or anything up in the tower. I want to know, yeah, what, what you guys enjoy. Okay, I'll see you guys later.